What are the volume differences for ripped CDs? Interesting question. It comes to us from Michael in Phoenix, Arizona. And Michael writes, how does the DAC deal with volume levels between ripped albums? I noticed this when playing CDs on my Apple TV 4K that, that I've ripped to my iMac. I have to have the volume higher for some albums and I have to turn it down for others. So how does ripping affect that? Well, the simple answer is ripping does not, certainly should not. And now we'll get into a little bit more of the complexity of, of the, the answer and, and to kind of expand on this question. A lot of people believe that how you rip a CD has a lot to do with how it sounds and in particular what level it's at. And while there is some validity and some camps that, that firmly believe how you rip the CD makes a difference, I being in one of those camps, the truth about volume is a pure rip of a CD to a hard drive is just digital data and the volume is unaffected. So if I have CD A and CD B and I listen to them and they are at very different volume levels, that's because of the mixing and mastering and how they made that CD, not the ripping of it. So when you rip, it's all the same bit. You know, the bits come off, they get transferred over to a hard drive, and those bits should all be the same. And therein lies the second part of this. While the volume is the same, it isn't clear that ripping always sounds the same. So when I do a rip on, I just take my Mac and I'll just, uh, you know, I just want to do a quick rip. If I do that and I just use iTunes, <laughs> iTunes is dead now. <laughs> We, sh we should hold a, we should hold a what, it, what is it uh, a, a funeral for, for iTunes because uh, Apple and Ounce are killing it. But anyway, whatever the heck their new thing is, if you just rip on your your uh, your Mac or your Windows, uh, you'll get a good quality rip out of it. But if you use a program like EAZ, <laughs> EAC Exact Audio Copy, or there are other programs as well. Those rips on a high resolution audio system are better sounding than the rips just straight out of your Mac. And one of the reasons are the way that EAC works. So EAC is read a bunch of times and then write once. So it'll read once, store the data, read it again, compare the data, and if it's having trouble, read it again take the best match, the one that it believes is the most accurate, and go with that one. Normally, if you just run it through your computer, what happens is that they use an algorithm to make a best guess at the data. And what you get is that best guess of data, which on a, on a new CD could be nearly perfect. But on older CDs, scratch CDs, ones that the laser mechanism is having even the slightest amount of trouble reading, you're going to get a best guess uh, rip out of it. So if you can, if you really care and you really have a high-end audio system with, with full resolving power, when you rip those CDs, you want to make sure that you use a program like EAC or some verifiable way of ripping not just with an ordinary program like out of your computer. You will appreciate the difference in the results. But volume? No, it'll always be the same. Okay, thanks for the question. It was a good one. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.